Bye guys. Don't fucking hell with you. Okay, this is uh, from another brewery that I've never tried before. Also available in my local supermarket. Uh, anyway, it's uh, the beer in question is Tolly English Ale. There you go. Never seen this one before. Um, it was on offer, I think it was about £1.30 a bottle, so not too expensive. This is another low EBV one, this is another 2.8% I think. Yes it is, yeah. So, and it's from the Tolly, Co Tolly Cobold Brewery. 2.8%, so it's uh, the same ABV as the one I've done previously, um, which was the Mighty Atom from Fuller's. So let's give you some info on it. Um, it says, this fine amber ale has been brewed using a complex, complex mix of hops to offer balanced bitterness with strong tropical notes. All the flavour you would expect from a great English ale, but only at 2.8%. So, it's quite interesting really, seeing what brewers can do with a, with a low ABV like that. Um, okay, it looks quite carbonated. <clears throat> Alright, let's get in the glass. Okay, it's got a really nice colour. Really sort of bright orange copper colour. Um, nice sort of big fluffy white head. The only thing, I'm getting a little bit of a skunky smell. And um, I'm not one of these people that say automatically say, oh glass bottle, clear bottle, scum. But I really am. As soon as I opened it I'm getting a big wolf um, coming up towards my nose. But then again that could be just the carbonation trapped in the bottle. Sometimes that tends to smell. And then when you start drinking it, it, um, it fades. But as you can see it looks like it's got a nice head retention. 2.8% and it looks really pretty in the glass. So let's give it a nose. Oh flip! That is really powerful. <laughs> there is a big skunky smell. It's almost like a sour, bitter uh, yeast or something like that, a breadiness, something like that. Um, it's quite a powerful smell. In a way, it reminds me a bit of. Um, like a really powerful smelling Spitfire from Shepherd Lane. I like the uh, Spitfire smell. I think it's very unique. But this is like an horrible version of that. Um, yeah, it's like you're getting like this sort of, almost like a a sour yeasty breadiness with a, a slight vanilla note, and um, and that's it really. It's a really strong smell uh, for 2.8%. All <laughs> right, let's just see where it goes. Cheers, guys. See, I'm not getting really that much skunk or anything of that horrible um, smell in the taste. <clears throat> I tell you what it does taste like, it tastes a lot like um, Shepherd Neem's Master Brew, like a lighter version of that. You're getting that sort of, um, well actually no, more like the Green King, <clears throat> excuse me, the Green King IPA. Yeah definitely, this is really like the Green King IPA. Um, you're getting that sort of um, really mild sort of um, slightly sour yeastiness. Um, a little bit of bitterness, a very very light body. Sort of mid-level carbonation. You know what, to be honest it's not that bad really. Um, let's see if there's anything else on there I can tell you about. Oh, sorry, it is actually brewed by um, Green King in Bury St Edmunds, I was looking for the website. It's a Green it's a green King beer. So Tolly Cobbold is, um, must be one of their, 
one of the brewers they brought or another name they used for the low ABV stuff but yeah it's definitely got that Green King flavour and um, to be perfectly honest with you it's, it's easy enough to drink there's nothing wrong with it really I mean that nose is a little bit funky but once you get past that It tastes like a, a very average English sort of bitter, really. It's a lot better than some of them out there, like Tetley's and stuff like that. I'd much rather drink this than, uh, than some of the more mainstream sort of bitters. But I'll tell you what, it's got some pretty good flavours for 2.8%. really has. If, that was, if you didn't know it, you would have put that on about 5%. I'm telling you. So, for that, I'm going to give it... <clears throat> Hang on. So the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm sort of like getting round to it and liking it. It's got this really nice bitterness. The sort of shepherd neem bitterness or green king bitterness. They have this very sort of like similar sort of flavour which is unique to them. Um, yeah, it's nice. I'm going to give it a... I'll give that a high 6, a high 6 out of 10. Well, actually, no, I'll give it a 7 because it's 2.8% and um, and it tastes like a, a 5% beer, so I think that's pretty impressive, really. But there you go, Tolly English Ale. Um, perfect sort of beers for if you're having a picnic or something out and you're out in the out for a walk in the countryside. You want to take a couple of beers with you, but you don't want anything too heavy. Get a bottle of that or get a bottle of the, um, the Fuller's. The, What's it called? Mighty Atom. Really good. Um, I'm going to go back to normal ABVs after this. I just wanted to try a couple of these out and see what they were like. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon for an Urban Viking Earl Review.